Welcome back. In today's video, we're doing this. It's very spooky. It's very spooky, okay? I don't know what I'm calling this. You know what I'm calling this because you've clicked on the video. By the way, thank you. <laughs> so if you want to see how I did this, then just hang out. All right, this is going to be like a half beautiful, half something went wrong, something happened situation. So let's start off with getting pale. That is the theme of this season for me. My face is already primed, by the way. Since I'm gonna be using liquid latex today on my face, I don't wanna accidentally remove the four little eyebrow hairs that I do have, so. This one has glue holding it down. I know you can't see it. All right, let's make her a little bit more pale, shall we? White cream stick. So I'm not really putting any makeup here yet because that's where all of the effects are going to be, so I wanna leave that kind of clear. Okay, now I'm just gonna do a little bit of contouring, but I'm gonna use a gray like eyeshadow. If I use a contour color, it's gonna make me look maybe a little bit tan and that's not the vibe today. I didn't set my face with powder. What am I even doing with my life? The powder I'm using today is this Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. I like it because it's got a little bit of luminosity to it and that's the vibe that I'm going for today. I want, I want this She's like an ice queen, right? Like an ice queen who, I don't know, maybe she's after her own self. I don't know. I'm not good at backstories, okay? All right, now commence, <laughs> commence contouring. Okay, I just made my hairline look dirty, but okay. This ice queen has blue hair because I have a blue wig from last year and I wanna wear it again. I think I'm gonna go into this ColourPop palette. There's a really pretty navy blue tone right here and it's a matte, so that's gonna work perfect for an eyebrow. I'm doing a pretty high arch just because, you know, witchy. This is the year of the colored eyebrow for me, isn't it? Good enough, good enough. Okay, for this eye, I want this eye to be really blown out and smoky, of course. So I'm gonna bust out my BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. This palette is super fun because these are all baked shadows. They all have really beautiful shimmers, so they're gonna be very nice and easy to blend. Holy crap, that's amazing. I think I'm actually gonna use that same navy matte color that I used for my eyebrow right in the crease. You know, honestly, any excuse to wear blue eyeshadow, I'm here for that. I wanna deepen up that eye and really kind of smoke it out. So I'm gonna dip into just a black eyeshadow. I have one that's very old and expired probably. Just darken up this outer corner. I'm gonna take a little bit of Urban Decay 24 seven Glide On Pencil in Perversion and let's just line this bottom lash line. Okay, I did that pretty messy because number one, I'm not good at this. Two, I, I just wanna smoke it out. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna take a very small, where's my smudger brush? Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a smudger brush in that black shadow and smudge that out. Now with another pencil brush, I'm gonna dip into, um, I mean, this is an old palette. It's probably super expired and sorry if you don't have it, but it's the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay collab, but there's a beautiful navy color in there. Do you see that right there? It's called Danger. <laughs> And I'm gonna use that to smoke out this lower lash line even more. And my eye is now watering. Why do I sing? I don't know. Winged liner. Here we go. My poor little pen is drying out. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dip back into this Galaxy Chic palette into one of these like lighter blue tones just to make it a little bit more icy, a little bit more blown out, just a little bit more extra. The lighter of the blues, this like silvery blue. I'm just kind of dipping my finger into all the blue colors actually. And we're just gonna tap that on right there just for a little extra payoff. Look at that, good God. I bought this a while ago for like funsies. I used it in the video that I made with my friends Lisa and Kathy. This was like part of a challenge. Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighter Illuminator. I'd forgotten about this because I had just stuffed it in a drawer, but I've been using it with Pennywise for like a super duper icy highlight and it's freaking awesome. The cool thing about this makeup is like you could sort of do this with any color combination that you want. So if you wanted it to be like a green witch, purple, pink, any of that stuff. You just follow the same steps just with like 
your different color tones. So you could be like a fire witch. You could be a whatever happens with green. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Halo Walkers. I went ahead and put on lashes, mascara, and I smoked out the bottom lash line until you could not see the wing anymore. The highlighter is really cool because yes, it's blue, but what it does is it just kind of gives off like an eerie kind of icy vibe, spooky vibe. Okay, so I think we're ready to start mapping out the fun part. This this method is very similar to like doing a, a like a Glasgow smile or a Chelsea smile, like the Joker smile, where you just lay either latex or I'm, I'm using toilet paper and latex today. And then once it's dried, you cut the middle and then you've got like skin flap. I'll show you. I'm gonna do it here on my eye. So first I've already kind of put together my <laughs> very sophisticated <laughs> appliance. It's just toilet paper and I laid it down. I think that's gonna look pretty good. And I'm gonna just trace around it. And then there's another piece that's gonna go above my eyebrow. It's gonna look, it's like a slash. I have with me a small dish. I have some Q-tips and some liquid latex. You can get this at any Halloween store or like, like a legit costume store. This is from the Halloween store. Actually, I think this is from Amazon. I can't believe that it's not all dried up. It's from last year. Pour a little bit into this dish and then with my little Q-tip, don't use brushes, you'll ruin them, okay? With my little Q-tip, I'm going to trace around where I want my little toilet paper skin to go. This is why I covered my eyebrow because I'm, I'm gonna be laying it right across my eyebrow so I don't wanna rip it off. Just be careful around your eye because you know, this liquid latex is pretty strong fume wise and it, you might have a little bit of irritation. So just proceed with caution. So now you just take your TP and press it down over that latex. Now I only outlined it because I'm gonna end up ripping this right down the center. You just go over those edges again. If you're gonna use toilet paper, try to use like the cheapest toilet paper or like if you have the fancy you know multi-ply toilet paper you're going to want to pull the layers apart and only use single ply you can use tissues too i probably should have just used tissues because i'm seeing now that there's like a, a texture on this toilet paper oh well so i'm kind of bringing my edges out a little bit just to sort of try to blend them because when this um, latex dries it's going to have a bit of a texture which is fine because that's the vibe that i'm going for here i'm also lightly dabbing like the whole surface of the toilet paper with the latex just to give it some strength because when i go to rip it it, it might just like rip all the way off it's going to like shrink up and wrinkle and that's good you want that we're just going to let that dry So while I was waiting for the latex to dry, I went ahead and kind of deepened this contour a little bit. And I, what I did was I dipped into that blue eyeshadow just to kind of make it more dramatic. You know what I'm saying? So the latex is dry and what we're gonna do is rip it. This is supposed to be, you know, like a split in, this, in the skin. So when we place the paper, remember, we only put the adhesive, the latex, on the edges. We should be able to get underneath there pretty easily. So I'm just gonna take, this is just like a little makeup brush. You could use a tweezer also. You just have to be very careful around your eye. And I'm going to jimmy it inside there. Aha, looky there, it worked. <laughs> Sorry, is that gross? <laughs> Anyways, I'm just loosening this a little bit so that I could take a scissor very carefully and snip. Ha ha ha! Yeah, so it's like split skin. Is that soup's gross? Oh, it's so scary. Okay, I just wanna stretch this out a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. Be very careful. Actually, I'm gonna go from the bottom up. Ha ha ha! Then you can peel this back to reveal your, you know, scar or whatever. So I'm actually gonna take my scissor and just sort of trim my little edges. I don't think I need this much extra skin, no thank you. So this is good, like you want it to be jagged, right? Because it's a scar. And we're gonna make it look a little bit more jagged. So I'm going to foundation this. I'm just tapping on. All right, with my white cream stick, I want to make it a little bit more pale. I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna dab it all in and around my scar area. I know that we just put foundation on it, but we need it to be a little bit more pale. 
Don't worry about it being perfect because it's a scar. Did I already say that? Okay, now what I want to do is powder this. Also, um, something that I left out, sorry, I did this part off camera. Um, after the latex applied and dried, I powdered it with just some setting powder just so that it was a little easier to work with because latex is very sticky until you powder it. Okay, I'm going to now powder all this makeup that I just laid down just so it doesn't rub right off. I am going to use some body paint. You could use liquid lipstick, you could use eyeshadow and water, whatever you have on hand is gonna be just fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm gonna use just like a small art brush and I'm using my water activated paints. So I'm gonna mix this blue, black, and white to kind of make something in this family over here. But don't get too precious about the color because we're gonna end up covering it anyways. So it looks like my head is split open and there's blue inside, because that makes sense. So now I'm just gonna take a gray eyeshadow and I just want to kind of color around these edges. It's very subtle. All right, while I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead with this gray shadow and bring it into my crease. Okay, now this is the cool and fun part of it. I have a couple of blue eyeliners here. This one is a super duper old one from Wet n Wild in the color Deep Blue. And then I have this Bodyography Midnight Blue pencil. I'm gonna start with the Bodyography pencil because it's a little bit darker. And what I'm gonna do, you know I like veins, we're gonna draw veins. Letting my hand kind of do the work. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't, but you'll just have to watch and see. So what I'm doing here is I'm dragging this pencil, starting out with a heavy pressure closest to the wound and then lightening as you go out, kind of spidering out. I think I need to sharpen. Sharpen break. That is enough for that color. Now let's go in with a lighter color. The cool thing about this is you can't mess it up. So that looks sufficiently disgusting. I have this blue pigment from Wet n Wild. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make it work, but I do have some glitter glue. So I'm going to put some glitter glue down and then I'm gonna put this glitter on top of it. Right now with a clean brush. It's actually freaking awesome. You guys, that's freaking awesome. The plan is working, it's working. I keep calling this a witch. Is it though? I don't really know what it is. Okay, I did have a little bit more glitter. This eye is gonna be like totally whited out. So I have this silver pencil, this is from NYX. I'll line my waterline with this. We're gonna do a wing, but it's gonna be white. Is that, is that stupid? Probably. We're doing it anyways. <laughs> yeah. ColourPop has all these colored mascaras and this is white. And it's not gonna focus and you can't see it. It doesn't matter, it's white mascara. Look at my goblin lashes on display. This is exciting. So for lips, I have a few of these Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. This one is like a metallic blue that I think is gonna be fun. And then I've got this more light blue and then I have a black. So let's start with the metallic blue and then maybe we'll just like tap a little bit of the light color. I don't know how much I love this blue lipstick. Hmm, well. Whoa, those teeth are corny. <laughs> All right, so let me do some final touches, put on my costume and wig, and I will be right back. And here we are, this is the finished
this look. <laughs> if you're like me and you hate wearing these contact lenses, you can just wear one and be super spooky. Actually, it's more spooky to wear one, I think. Thank you so much for hanging out today and for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos here on YouTube every Thursday at noon. You can also follow me on all of my socials and I will catch you next week in next week's video. Bye. That looks crazy. I love it, but I don't, I don't know what I'm calling this. I'm ringing. All right, camera. Thank you so much for cutting off. I really appreciate that. Love that. It's what you would do. Focus on me. My heart was racing. <laughs> Is any of this in focus? Probably not. Hello. Eh. Out today and for watching. <clears throat> I'm just the artist. Cross, we only run around. And why did I choose to make this side pretty when I've got a big fucking zit on there? I don't know.